What's up guys? In this video, you guys are going to discover seven remote jobs that just about anyone can start. So if you are looking to make a career switch or you is looking for a job to work from home to make some additional money, then these jobs will be perfect for you. And guess what? You don't need to go back to school. In some of these jobs, you don't need any experience at all. So if you like that me and my team have done the research for you, go ahead and hit the like button on this video. Not only that, if you are new to this channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button with that notification bell because you don't want to miss any of our future videos. Now coming in at number seven is a commercial solar sales consultant. And this is one of those jobs where you will get the opportunity to help homeowners and businesses transition to solar energy from traditional energy. And your job is to sell the different solar solutions that your company provides. And not only that, to educate the client on those solar solutions, ultimately helping your customer and businesses to save money to create a greener planet. And as a commercial sales consultant, you will typically work for a solar company or a renewable energy company or a specialized sales agency. And some of the tasks that you have on a day to day basis is to go from door to door, either homeowners or businesses to sell different solar energy solutions to also coordinate with project managers to ensure that the solutions are installed at the customer's home or either at the businesses that have bought them and to stay up to date with the different trends that's happening within solar technology. And if you do this type of a job, you can make a good amount of money with the average salary being around $80,000 per year. And you can make significantly more money with the more business that you close. I know people who are in the solar energy field and they are making up to 140, 150, 160 thousand dollars a year. Wow. Some of the pros of this type of a job is that you can earn a good amount of money and you are doing some very impactful work because you are contributing to a greener planet. And some of the cons is that it requires strong sales skills and door to door knocking and a lot of rejection. And overall, I think this is a very strong job for people to get into, especially if they are interested into getting into sales. And I will tell you like this, if you are interested in getting to sales, check out our partners at Course Careers. They have a course that will help you break into sales. They have a free version of that course. And if you like the content that's in that course, you can go ahead and purchase the real course and use our discount. Check out the link in the description of this video. Hey everyone, before we continue, I want to take a moment to tell you about an amazing resource that can help you reach new heights within your career black heights. So whether you are just starting out in your career or you are looking to advance in your career, Black Heights offers a wealth of services to guide you every step of the way. At Black Heights, we provide personalized career coaching, professional development workshops, and comprehensive resources to help you achieve your goals. And our expert coaches, including myself, has years of experience and a proven track record of helping clients to land their dream jobs, get promotions, and succeed and excel in their careers. So check out the website to find valuable content, including articles, videos, and webinars on topics like job searching, resume building, interview preparation, leadership development. Please join our community to connect with like-minded professionals and gain access to exclusive events and networking opportunities through our Patreon. Guys, don't wait to take the next step in your career. Visit www.blkheights.com and start your journey to success today. Now let's get back to the video. Now next on the list is a help desk administrator. And as a help desk administrator, you will be the subject matter expert for resolving technical issues and making sure that the IT operations is running smoothly. And your job is to answer any sort of the technical questions that people may have. Also to troubleshoot issues like emails or phone support and to ensure that employees or customers have their technology needs met. And help desk administrators typically work for large IT companies or tech companies or large corporations that need a large amount of IT support staff. And some of the things that you will do on a day-to-day -day basis may be resolving technical support requests that comes in from customers or employees or to troubleshoot hardware and software issues or to provide guidance 
on how to use a certain type of hardware or software. And the help desk administrator salary range averages from $54,000 a year all the way up to $82,000 a year. And some of the pros of being a help desk administrator is that it is a launching point for your IT and tech career, not only that it is in high demand. And some of the cons is that you will have some repetitive task and some of the jobs or some of the cases that you will deal with can be stressful. And overall, I like this opportunity and this is the same place where I started my tech career in the help desk as a help desk administrator. And I went on to become a software engineer after I received my education and graduated from college. And next on the list is an online data researcher. And as an online researcher, your job is to compile and to analyze and to find information that the business needs. You're basically a researcher. So you get to look into different trends and different information that the business may need and then provide your insight so that the business can use that data for whatever they need it for. And the type of companies that hire online data researchers are market research agencies and analytics companies and research firms. And some of the day-to-day -day tasks that you will be doing is to research and gather relevant information based on what the business has assigned you and to organize data and to potentially interpret that data to support business decisions. And the salary for this type of a job ranges from $87,000 a year to $137,000 a year. And some of the pros of this type of a job is that you can work flexible hours and it will help you to learn a lot because you will be researching a whole bunch of information. And some of the cons of this job is that it can be a bit tedious and it does require you to self-motivate yourself. So you may have to get up in the mornings and watch a YouTube video that provides you a level of motivation to keep you going. And I like this one because you don't need a degree for this type of a job. If you have research skills, or the ability to look online and to gather information and be able to interpret that information and have discussions about that information, you can do this job. Now next on the list is a chat desk expert. And as a chat desk expert, your job is to handle real questions coming from the customer on different websites in real time. So you may be chatting with a customer, you may be emailing with a customer, you may be providing real time information with that customer over the chat interface. And companies that hire chat desk experts are customer support companies or tech companies or service providers that require chat-based customer support. And some of the things that you will be doing on a day-to-day -day basis is answering customers via the chat platform, resolving their issues and answering their questions. And you may be a person who can multitask, so you may have three or four different conversations going on at once. And the salary range for a chat desk expert ranges from $33,000 a year to $56,000 a year. And some of the pros of this job is that it is easy to get into as long as you know how to communicate with people and you can learn information and be able to share that information in a chat platform. And it does provide you with consistent work. And some of the cons of this type of a job is that it can be repetitive. And not only that, the pay is not that high compared to some of the others in this field. Overall, I like this as an entry level side hustle or a job that you can do part time while working a full time job. So I would kind of give this one about a six out of a 10 if I was going to rank it on an opportunity scale. Now, next on the list is a content marketing associate. And as a content marketing associate, your job is to boost the brand's presence. So you do things like create and manage various types of content, including blog posts and social media platforms, and make sure that you are able to captivate the audience and drive additional traffic through the websites or to the social media platform. And content marketing associates typically work for marketing agencies or digital media companies or as a freelancer. And some of your day-to-day -day tasks will be to update content on a consistent basis. That may be with blog posts or social media updates and to optimize that content with search engine optimization and to work with the marketing team to develop different plans 
and strategies to use to boost the brand. And the salary range for a content media associate is around $44,000 to $74,000 a year. And some of the pros of this type of a job is that you will be a creative and you will have creative freedom. Not only that, you can work in many, I mean, many industries because they are looking for people to help them boost their brands. And some of the cons of this job is that it is competitive and it requires you to be creative constantly. And I like this job opportunity because it is an opportunity for you to boost a company's brand. And if you are a creative, this is the perfect job for you. I'm not a creative and I don't think that this would be a good job for me. But if you are a creative and you want to boost a company's brand or if you have done it yourself, perfect job opportunity for you. Now, next on the list is a financial product specialist. And as a financial product specialist, your job will be to look at the financial products in insurance companies or investment accounts and see how you can enhance those products and services to provide more value to the people who have them. And financial product specialists typically work for banks or insurance companies or investment firms or financial services organizations. And some of their day-to-day -day tasks may include reviewing financial products and insurance policies and figuring out a way how to enhance it, not only that, to analyze market trends and client needs. And the salary range for this type of a job is around $74,000 to $137 a year. And a pro of this type of a job is that you can make a lot, I mean, a lot of money if you create a good financial product or you are able to sell that financial product. Not only that, you will have the opportunity to grow within your career. And some of the cons is that it can be a steep learning curve, learning about financial markets and insurance policies. And it also may require for you to have certifications. But overall, I like this type of a job because it is an opportunity for you to get exposure to the financial parts of the business, which is where the money flows. And last but not least on the list is a local coordinator. And in this type of a job, you will help with the coordination of different events in your local communities or to manage logistics for different events that are going on in your community and to plan certain activities to help the community out. And the type of companies that hire local coordinators are managed exchange programs, community outreach initiative programs, or event planning agencies. And some of your daily and weekly tasks may include coordinating and organizing local events and activities and managing logistics and ensuring that the operations is running smoothly. And the salary for a local coordinator is between $47,000 a year to $77,000 a year. And this is a great opportunity if you are looking to have flexible work hours and work on different tasks. And this isn't a job for you if you are a person that can't deal with inconsistencies or inconsistent workloads because that's how this is going to be. Some of the workloads or some of your weeks are going to be, you know, not much to do. And there is a potential high stress levels because during busy times when you are planning different events you're working with a lot of people and that can be very very stressful overall i rate this type of a job at about 50 50 at five out of ten out of anything because you know it is one of those jobs that can be very very stressful because you're dealing with people but it also is one of those jobs where you can provide a significant impact to the community that you are working for and there you have it guys these are the seven remote jobs that just about anyone can start and guess what you don't need to have a ton of experience to start some of these matter of fact some of these you don't need to have any experience at all. So I gave you a diverse range of different experience levels for the types of jobs. And the most important is that they can all be done from home. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, make sure that you hit like on the video. Not only that, if you are new to our channel, we haven't hit the subscribe button yet. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button in that notification bell. And we will see you in the next video. Until next time, guys. Peace.